Editing a sunset with the professional tools. In this Back to Basics video, I'm going to show you that how just by using the professional tools, we can emphasize areas within an image. In this case, the sunset that we had in the west coast of Scotland the other evening. It's one of the best sunsets we've had here in years. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, that's us now in the professional tools and using some of these tools, what I'm going to do is to show you how to change and to enhance this lovely sky, but we're going to enhance it even further with this. So the first thing I am going to do is go into advanced contrast. And what I'm looking to do is just play with the highlights just slightly to get them to a point where I'm quite happy with them and I'm aware that I'm not going to blow out anything doing this. I am then going to get into the balance of these. So if I take the slider one way or the other, you will notice this area here is what I am focused on. I'm not boiled up anything down here, I'm focused in this area. So I'm going to pull that back to around See there, quite happy with how that looks. The next thing, I'm going to push the mid-tones contrast and I'm going to take that up quite a bit to around, say 28. For this, just for this image, I'm looking at this image each time. The balance of that, I am going to push and you should see the difference here. Did you notice that just when you reach that point there, it begins to drop over in this area. So I'm quite liking the look of that so far. That's what we had, this is what we have now. So it's increased a wee bit the vibrance and the contrast between the colours here. Next is the shadows. Take that to around there. And I'm going to pull the shadow balance back to around there. So once again, I'll just show you before after. So you can see we've actually lightened this area here. Next thing, we'll just get through these in order except for dodge and burn. I'm going to use the dodge and burn last once I've got a base for the image. So the adjustable gradient. I'm only working with the top of it and what I want to do is bring that down slightly. So the adjustable gradient, I am going to set the orientation and I'm going to take it up to around there and drag that down to around there. So it's sitting just on the horizon. I'm going to take the exposure down to about there seems quite comfortable. The contrast, I need to increase the contrast in this. So I'm going to push it quite a bit. Yep, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. If I flick that off, and on, again it's subtle changes, but you can see what we can do just with the professional panel alone. The shadows, I'm going to bring them right back to about there. Again, you can see the difference, you can see it as it's coming along. Highlights, take them down again to about there. And I'll keep doing this as I'm going through it. The warmth and the vibrance. Now I could cool this image down or I could warm it up ever so slightly. For this I'm going to leave the warmth where it is. And I'm going to just pull back the vibrance. Because I'm aware of what's going on up here. It was a really good sky that night. But I'm going to show you just how to take it to the point that I'm looking to get. So there before after, before, after. Next, after that, as I said, I'm going to miss out the dodge and burn. Next is the colour enhancer. So the brilliance, I am not going to touch. The warmth, I am now going to push to around, say about there. Right, and you'll notice the difference here. Everything down in the shadow area, or the foreground, should I say, everything down in the foreground had, now has this lovely warm glow to it. Split colour warmth, I'm going to pull this one back 
with that just and I'm watching everything that's happening it's a global edit but I'm watching everything that's happening within the image and as I say I keep flicking this on and off just so that I can see I love that in Luminar that the fact that you can see your original and then see where you're at just now next I am going to bring the cool right back to around let's go for it to around there Right, I don't know if you notice quickly the adjustment on the screen, but look at this area here when I flick it on and off. Original. So you see all the texture and everything that's come in through the clouds that we can now see. And that's just by making the adjustments here, plus what we've already done. I'm going to leave that there as it is just now. Photo filter. The amount and the hue. Now I can choose any one of these hues here I am going to go for around the orange no warmer tones within this right and then I'm going to push it just slightly because you can see the vibrance in the sky there and the color in the sky so I'm just going to push this slightly to around there so I'm quite happy with that show you the original and where we're at now so I quite like what's happening now you can see a warmth overall in the entire image just by a few of these sliders next split toning and this is when we can add different tones to for example the highlights or the shadows I am going to leave the amount at 50 for this the hue and the saturation I'm going to leave at zero as well I'm going to leave the highlights as they are what I'm going to do is put a little tonal value into the shadows and it's not much but we'll see where it takes us so for this I'm just going to find my color and I'm going to go right up into the blues here and I'll go around see that way then I'm going to dial in the saturation of how much it's going to affect the shadows this I don't want too much we have a warm image here I just want to create slight color tones in the shadows not much though again subtlety is the key for this image so we'll push that and i'll watch my image and you see there's the color we are going for here and again if i flip that on and off it's subtle but just enough last but not least with this we are going to dodge and burn small areas and we're going to do it very very gently i'm going to increase the depth in here and I'm going to highlight some of this but I don't want to overdo it so I'll show you what I'm going to do dodge and burn start painting straight away normally I lighten straight away I'm going to darken with this image because I want to bring some more emphasis here but at the same time I'm going to drop the strength and I'm going to take the strength back right back to around eight or nine so eight I'm going to increase the brush size using the square brackets in the keyboard and I'm just going to dust this a couple of times just around there and you see that taking effect there I'm going to go for a second one just to see what it does yep quite happy with that next I am going to lighten certain areas take this back to around 8 and I'm just going to paint in just in a couple of areas nothing too much nothing too severe take my brush down just there and that area just there it just so that your eye leads through the image and picks out areas again I'm going to try just to see what it's like so I'm going to start there and draw one line and that's looking good so far I'm quite done so what I'll do is I'll show you the before and the after in a relatively short time we have changed that image I could go back and adjust the blue up here but I'll be honest I like the fact that it doesn't overpower the image and although the blue in the sky that night was absolutely fantastic that's one of the best sunsets we've seen in the west coast in many years I don't want to overemphasize it for this image. 
hopefully that will actually see that just by using one panel how much change can be obtained within an image and for me that was the perfect panel and the perfect picture to show you how that panel works just for what I wanted to do. Using the tools individually is a good practice to get into just to see what they can actually affect. Then once you have a handle on all the tools within Luminar you know how to affect and change certain elements within it. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos on the channel, please check them out below and consider subscribing because that would be absolutely fantastic. Thanks again for watching.